earlier i spoke about the logical equivalence and how two or more compound prepositions that make a tautology and prove their equivalence there are well known logical equivalences so first one is identity law we call it law because the same logic is applied in boolean algebra which is another branch of mathematics that studies and understand logic in terms of algebra but that is out of scope of this video as i mentioned earlier in a video that duality applies to logical equivalences so every logical equivalence has a dual obtained by changing the connectives and true to false or false to true if any suppose p is a statement i ate breakfast with some other true statement which we don't know the truth value of other statement is always true so we don't need a variable for that instead we call it t which stands for true the first equivalence is p and t is equivalent to p in identity law if p is true then both p and the other true statement gives true which is same as p if p is false the compound statement p and true becomes false which is same as p the equivalence is true the second equivalence states that p or false is p the f stands for false meaning we are referring to some statement which is always going to be false and which is why we don't use a variable if p value is true the output of compound statement p or false is true as per the working of disjunction and equivalence holds if p is false then compound statement p or false is false and equivalent to p the equivalence is true again if we translate the identity law into english p and true equivalent to p becomes i ate breakfast and a human being need food to survive is equivalent to saying i ate breakfast the second statement does not need to be mentioned explicitly it is always going to be true therefore the equivalence is true regardless of the second statement if i did not eat breakfast the second statement does not make a difference and the equivalence is true similarly p or false is equivalent to p can translate into i ate breakfast or i can survive without food and water which is same as i ate breakfast and the false statement i can survive without food and water is irrelevant the second statement does not matter here because if i ate breakfast the compound statement p or false is true it is same as saying i ate breakfast the equivalence holds suppose i did not eat breakfast even then the equivalence holds and it is a tautology it would be easier to visualize identity law with truth table so first we make a truth table with two rows because the compound preposition has only one variable which is p and the other entity is either true or false the columns are p true false p and true and p or false now enter values for p the true column is always true and the false column is always false evaluate p and t and p or false and enter all the truth values the column p and true and column p or false entries match with column p which means the logical equivalence of identity law is valid and hence proved